Indigenous people have been scientists for thousands of years. We used our deep ecological knowledge to care for the land. We were experts on the plants and animals of the places that we lived and understood our position in the universe. Our people did not simply survive, we thrived with this knowledge. Our technology advanced over time, such as the invention of the Tamal, which became popular here around the same time as the fall of the Roman Empire. The Tamal gives us access to the open sea, allowing us to travel great distances and a bigger, more nutritious catch. Imagine how our navigation and watercraft technology might have progressed if our lifeways had not been interrupted by the mission system. We almost completely lost our knowledge at the hands of assimilation, but our ancestors did their best to hold on to their original ways. In this lifetime, I had the chance to learn about a tree carving or arbor glyph that helps us learn about our people's astronomy. It is a record of a relationship to the sun and stars used by our people to keep track of time. The bottom part of the image is a reproduction of a calendar as told by the sun. The calendar is etched from the shadow of the sun throughout the year on a sophisticated sundial aligned with the North Star. When the sun is low in winter, the shadow of the stick is long and draws an arc throughout the day at the north part of the figure. When the sun is high in summer, the shadow of the stick is shorter and draws an arc at the lowest part of the figure. The arc in between is where the shadow falls during the equinox. The solstice and equinox are ceremonial times for the Chumash people. The top part of the image is a calendar as told by the stars tracing the movement of the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper moves counterclockwise around the North Star starting with our New Year winter solstice. The image records the position of the Big Dipper at the ceremonial times of the year showing the close ties between our science and spirituality. Both parts of the image rely on an understanding of the placement of the North Star. One of the Chumash words used for the North Star means to separate in the middle. This word demonstrates the Chumash understanding of an astronomical central meridian and how complex scientific concepts were built into our language. This arbor glyph was probably carved in the last couple of centuries by a Chumash astronomer who understood the importance of keeping our science alive. Many other Chumash ancestors left us notes to help us reconnect with our language, stories, and culture. Our truth as native people has been taken from us, and now we try to put together the pieces left by our ancestors to rebuild our original instructions and learn our indigenous science so that the truth can stand on its own.